All right, howdy folks. Welcome back to the Alex Parker Road to the Show series here on MLB 22 PS5, episode 450. This might be the happiest episode we've ever had, man. We are World Series champions. If you haven't gone and checked it out, the whole series, uh, I'm referring to the World Series series, not the whole entire 450 episode series. You should go check it out. Go check out the playoffs. And if you want to, go check out the whole series. It's a short watch. It's only about 450 episodes. Should take you eh, multiple days. <laughs> Anyways, a 4-3 victory in extras capped off by a double play ball hit by John Kinsey Noel where Alex Parker was on second, sprinting from second to home. Noel beats out the double play. Parker scores, and the Brewers hold on to win 4-3. What an incredible way to end the season. So let's talk about a little, let's talk about who stepped up in the playoffs a little bit here. Uh, Rotation-wise, Dustin May was phenomenal. Love you, Dustin May. Thank you for showing up in the playoffs. Fuller and Brown struggled. Eddie Rodriguez struggled. The whole rotation struggled outside of Dustin May. The pen, not much better. Peter Lambert showed one of the best World Series performances in Game 7 I have ever seen. Jose Suarez got shelled in Game 5, I think it was. Uh, and then Class A was a pretty solid closer throughout. Although he did blow the save for <laughs> uh, the title in Game 5. So, that's uh, the rotation. Hitting-wise, Riley Green was that man all postseason long. Joey Weimer wasn't great. Sorry, I'm still stuffy. Um, went too hard last night celebrating my World Series. <laughs> uh, Douglas Sato comes back for just the World Series and was pretty good. Drove in six, two homers, 259 average. We'll take that definitely. Parker was your postseason MVP, not your World Series MVP. That went to Riley Green. Uh, but Parker was great all postseason. 382 average, six homers, and 19 RBIs. Felipe Romero. Uh, was pretty good. Kinsey Noel with some of the clutchest moments you will ever see. Uh, David Maxwell as well. Hedbert Perez was great. And then Rodolfo Castro, also a couple clutch moments here and there. I'm telling you, the guys who didn't look like they performed great on paper uh, all had their big moments, including Rafael Marchand as well. Jimenez taking a day time. Sean Bonds in his first series was phenomenal. And then Robert Poisson started really well and uh, kind of fell off, but he also had some big moments as well. So let's talk a little bit about awards and such and uh, what everybody won. Let's talk about player of the month, man. Alex Parker won April, May, July, August. Won four of them. Other ones went to Bruno Jaquez and then uh, Fernando Tatis also won. won. Roy Arnold is a rookie, what? <laughs> Yeah, Doug Potts is only 25, I didn't know that. Anyways, Fernando Tatis is still really good. Like, incredible. 43 homers, 135 RB, 35 RBIs, and 8.7 war. Goodness gracious, man. Future Hall of Famer, Fernando Tatis. Uh, and then awards-wise, let's go with the AL first. Andres Fridas is going to be your two-time... MVP award winner. Another 45 homer season, 124 RBIs, 938 OPS. He's still terrible in the field, uh, but he just crushes the ball. And he's going to be 30 next year, but 374 on homers already. Uh, under the age of 30 is crazy. Uh, J-Rod and Joe Adele were really close. Joe Adele has ended up becoming a great player in this series, as has J-Rod. Uh, Shane Baz is your Cy Young. Beating out Eduardo Carvajal, who has finally got it got it going for the Angels, and then Hunter Green. Uh, but Shane Baz, looking good, dude. J-Rod wins the batting title. Uh, young guy for the Angels. Good to see they have some young young talent on the way up. Eric Orza, Todd Nunn is your rookie of the year. Uh, he's got good stats, could become better. That's good, Satchel Hoff. Uh, Hank Aaron Ward goes to Julio Rodriguez. 
And here are your gold gloves with a couple Orioles making it here. Vizcaino and Rutschman with the one right behind being Pablo Aliendo, the guy behind him, and Robert Gonzalez winning. And Kobe Mayo. Wow, so many gold gloves. And then here are your silver sluggers. The postseason MVP goes to Luis Garcia, who was really good all year long. Uh, had a really good season in his second year in Baltimore. Uh, and they've got him for one more year. He's had a really good career overall. Eloy Cabrera is also there. He's obviously phenomenal. Uh, and then on to the NL. Parker winning another MVP. His third NL MVP. I believe this combines for his seventh MVP overall. Um, which is awesome. Beautiful. Tatis finishes second. No shock there. Parker, by the way, a legendary season. 58 homers and 168 RBIs. That is a career high in RBIs. He's, this is tying or sitting at third overall on most home runs in his career. Beautiful. 57 doubles, only three triples, but 224 hits, his most since 2029. Uh, and then he walked 82 times, stole 51 bags. Just an amazing season. 345, 416 OBP, a 710 slugging, which is his highest since it's the second highest in his career and highest since 2027 fielding wise he was phenomenal no gold glove we're never gonna win one don't don't ask uh but a 998 fielding percentage only the one error and then 14.7 war is the highest since 2027 as well and our second highest in our career so I mean, what do you want, man? This was an insanely, insanely good year. Um, just awesome. And our first year in Milwaukee could not have been better. Nolan Gorman's up there as well. Cy Young's going to go to this kid from the Washington Nationals. Eddie Feliz is a star in the making. His rookie year was incredible. 20 and 2 and a Cy Young award to go with it. Alex is going to win the batting title over young center fielder Guillermo Feliz for the New York Mets. And Brady House had a great year as well. Andrew Lara, another great pitcher in that Nats uh, system. Eddie Feliz is Rookie of the Year with Ryan Harris following and Aaron Sabato, uh, both older rookies. And then Alex Parker is your Hank Aaron Award winner. Gold Gloves, here they are. Volpe, by the way, didn't make an error this year. That's insane, dude. A 6.1 war with a 772 OPS is crazy. Jeffrey Ramos, yeah, here are your silver sluggers. Obviously, Parker wins a silver slugger. And then postseason MVP, like I said before, goes to Alex. But World Series MVP goes to Riley Green. So... Those are all of your awards. Um, yeah, let's begin uh, the offseason. Looking over some retired players. J.D. Davis. Okay. J.D. Davis retires. Francisco Lindor retires in a Guardians uniform, although he did not play for them, really. Uh, good career for Francisco. Not a Hall of Famer, though, sadly. Although he did have 2,000 hits. Pavin Smith. <coughs> Tyler O'Neill retired. Oh, wow. He wasn't that good. <laughs> Jorge Alfaro. We played with him uh, out in L.A. of all places. And he also went back to the Padres. And then here is everybody else. Jaime Berea. We used to play with him in L.A. as well. Cody Bellinger retires. Very good career for him. Tommy Edmond. Over a thousand hits on his career. Super Fairchild. Zach Gallen retires. A 
Cleveland Guardian in his last six years. Yeah, pretty good career for him. Who else we got? Danny Jansen, Brett Honeywell, Michael Kopech. Manny Machado retired at 2,600 hits, 470 home runs. And you know he was always uh, really good in the field, so... Looking at a 61 career war, a possible Hall of Famer. I think he probably won't make it in this game, but he would be in real life. AJ Minter retires. Good career for him. Sean Newcomb. Joe Ram. Nice. Good career for Joe Ram over 2,000 hits. Uh, Miguel Sano, a 400 home run player. Good, good for him. Gary Sanchez. Uh, not missing any Hall of Famers, I don't believe. I don't think we're going to have one this year. Uh, the closest would be Manny Machado, and he is going to be one with the 26. Yeah, I guess that's Hall of Fame worthy. Yeah, it's definitely Hall of Fame worthy. I'm just a Machado hater. Not really. I like Machado. Um, nice. Beautiful. Love to see it. Um... We don't have much to do this offseason because we don't have anything to sign. I would like to go to my ball player and change some looks about Alex. Uh, so first and foremost, I don't necessarily love the pants. Oh, well, it pulled him right back up for us. Beautiful. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> I thought I had him lower, but okay, whatever. Um, and then physical appearance, he needs to get a little bit older um and look so gonna add up to 35 and wrinkles and there used to be an aging stat but um i don't see it anymore and we can move it up back a little bit so his hairline goes back a little bit um i kind of want to just keep the fro shag here it's kind of the hair that suits alex best um and then what if we went like longer beard style? That looks so bad. We could switch it up and go like Euro maybe. Like the Euro style and go like that. No. No. Go with a fourth style. that or that full full beard for Parker yeah that looks good that looks great all right and then equipment wise I want to change up his sleeve Let me just change the color to it uh, change it to uh, it's kind of an ugly color but that's what we're gonna rock with So Parker just has a full beard now, and he's had a full beard, but you know what I mean. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get into this offseason. I don't have much to do. I just want to check uh, kind of what we have at the end of the season. And of course, we're happy. It's awesome. Unbelievable. Yes, sir. World Series champions. All right. Yeah, all is well. Life is good, of course. We're staying with Milwaukee the rest of the way for nine more years. Isn't that crazy? And into the offseason we go and into spring training. Uh, we'll sim spring training. Um, not much I really want to check. I don't want to play spring training, obviously. Uh, I see a couple new names. Who is Brandon Gates? I don't know. We're actually really getting beat up bad here. Uh, in spring training. Yeah, we're fine. We actually finished with a winning record. Oh, no, we don't. 14 and 15. Parker hit 410, 5 homers, 19 RBIs. Jeez, man. Let's advance to the regular season and check out exactly what we've got going for us this year. All right. Uh, Jared Fuller's a 90. Yes, sir. Hunter, ooh, the rotation takes a step back, though. 
Alright, Hunter Brown gets worse. And obviously we lose Dustin May. Uh, who is probably on another team or gone. Uh, anyways, Blaine Enlow is also here. Uh, Eddie Rodriguez is an 80 now. Maybe we could get something out of him. Then Andrew Abbott will close things out for us in the rotation. All right, interesting for sure. Uh, Alfonso Cortez is really good. You know, Don's pretty good. Bob Gray, all right. And then Klaus is still here. So the, the bullpen isn't too bad. Uh, Felipe Romero stays, but we do lose Rafael Marchand. Felipe is still in 85. He's just going to be there the rest of his career, probably. New first baseman, KJ Harrison. We signed him for $8 million off Kansas City. Uh, I like this better than what we had, so I'm not mad with this at all. Second base is going to be Derek Morales. No, oh, Rodolfo Castro is right here. Uh, looks like we waved him, so that's not good. Did we wave? We waved Ch uh, Chijun Lu. So Derek Morales is a younger second baseman uh, making his rookie year debut here. He's fast, hits okay. Uh, I think he's only gonna play against lefties and we'll see James Triantos against the righties, uh, but cool. Third baseman, yes sir, we signed Jordan Walker to a deal. How big? Only five years, that's good, man. And Walker's been a good bat uh, all basically all year uh, for the Cardinals and we steal him from them. That's a big deal. We have Zach Galoff as well now. Out and shortstop, it's gonna be Alex Parker, obviously. Harold James, still not in the MLB. Raul Ramiro, not making the steps needed to really become a great player. We re-signed Douglas Sato, big time signing from the Brewers front office. A five year deal. Oh, that is just beautiful, man. Love, love, love that. Riley Green is staying on board, obviously. Hopefully we wouldn't have traded him. Uh, he'll play center field for us. We also have Matt Pappas, uh, who actually is pretty good. Could be a good DH option. Another Cardinals player coming over and then Hedbert Perez. Um, I like Hedbert. Stay here, Hedbert. Uh, and then we have Joey Weimer, who's still good. Uh, he's looking like a 85 overall. Good contact back, good in the field, pretty fast still. Uh, rounding out his years here. And Milwaukee, happy to have you back. And Koji Amasa takes a step forward. Uh, and is looking like our future right fielder. Hopefully our future right fielder. Uh, he's pretty fast, good stolen base guy. Decent bat, 66 and 59 on the contact. Uh, not bad power. You just gotta get that glove up a little bit and I will feel comfortable with him. I am very happy, happy, happy with this offense, or uh, with this off season and this offense. We'll go ahead and save that. Make sure we do not leave that in the past. And everything is fine. So, right now we're ranked as the second best team in the MLB. Who is first? That's a good question. The Red Sox. Orioles are eighth. I'd love to see what the Red Sox have to be the first ranked team. Rotation wise, uh, yeah, it's pretty solid, I guess. I don't know. Nobody amazing, nobody terrible. Felipe Vasquez is a great signing for from Minnesota. They also got Caden Saucedo. We used to play with him some. Yeah, this is this is a good team. I'll give him that for pitching. Uh, and then lineup wise. Okay. Yeah, Walker Glenn, Johnny Rios, Robert Hassel is like really good. Great contact guy. Andres De Silva has developed into a stud. Uh, Michael Toglia, MJ Melendez, Jeremiah Jackson. Yeah, this team's good. Uh, they were good last year as well, so. Good to see we still have some potential to be a great team. Uh, and we will open the season in episode 451 against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Y'all excited? Because I'm pretty freaking excited. Here is our rotation. 
then here is our bullpen. Our bullpen is really solid this year. I'm really happy with that. Uh, and then our lineup goes as follows. All right, we're going to lead off Matt Pappas. And then we're going to go Riley Green, Alex Parker. Wow, that beard looks different. Douglas Sato, Jordan Walker's going to hit in the five hole to Felipe Her Romero, KJ Harrison, Joey Weimer, and then to James Triantos hitting in the nine. Uh, and then against lefties, you'll see Triantos head to the bench, and Derek Morales will take that spot. We still stick Pappas, Creed, Parker, Sato, but now Weimer. Oh, is Weimer? Eight hole. Crazy. Eight hole against righties, and then five hole against lefties. Walker hops down to sixth. Uh, KJ Harrison is playing first base. Um, I'm so excited for this dude, man. A good first baseman that we will have for the season. And then Felipe Romero hits eighth. And Derek Morales will play in his rookie season and hit ninth. This dude has some potential. Maybe we could get him up a little bit higher uh, and get a good second baseman out of him. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I just wanted to show y'all. Uh, just wanted to show y'all something. Well, let's talk about MLB records first off. We didn't. We have not broken a record yet, actually, but we are close. Uh, we're really close on some of these things. So, um, or we're going to. So, four thousand two hundred hits. Not close on that, but the runs batted in. We are going to get there eventually, I think. And then the stolen bases at fourteen hundred. We're going to get there, and I think we're going to reach the home runs as well. Let's check where Alex is at on season on career stats. He's at. 2140, yeah, about halfway there on that. 477, making good progress there. And we're only about a thousand plus away uh, on the RBIs. And we're at 664 stolen bases. Gonna be really tough to catch Ricky, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, I wanted to look at some team stats. Although I don't know where to find it. Not team rankings. There, there it is. One World Series title. We bring it home for the Milwaukee Brewers. Oh, man. That's so freaking exciting. That's so exciting. All right. If you like the video, hit the like button subscribe to the channel. That is it for me. That is Alex Parker, episode 450 of the book.